Welcome to Interventional Radiology. This is where you will have a CT-guided needle biopsy of the lung. A biopsy is done to look for lung disease, cancer, or another condition. During the procedure, the doctor will obtain a small sample of your lung tissue and will review the results with you at your next appointment. The risks for a lung biopsy may include pain, bleeding, infection, damage to surrounding tissues and organs, or a collapsed lung or pneumothorax. A collapsed lung or pneumothorax is a condition when air is trapped in the pleural space, causing the lung to collapse. Before the procedure, you will meet with a care team member from Interventional Radiology. The procedure will be explained to you in detail. Your doctor will decide if you will receive conscious sedation or anesthesia. Conscious sedation is a combination of medicines to help you relax and control pain during the procedure. You will be awake during the procedure, but you should not feel any pain. With anesthesia, you will be drowsy and should not feel any pain. If you need blood tests before your procedure, they will be scheduled during your evaluation. This is to make sure you do not have any problems with bleeding during the procedure. You must have a responsible adult with you at discharge. This person will receive discharge instructions and will need to sign you out before going home. A taxi or rideshare driver does not meet these criteria. Before your procedure, do not eat anything for eight hours. To prevent dehydration, you may have clear liquids such as water, clear juices, tea or black coffee without creamer or sugar until two hours before check-in time. You may take prescription medicines approved by your doctor with sips of water. Let your care team know if you are taking blood thinning medicines such as Eliquis, Coumadin, Plavix, Xarelto, or Heparin. You may need to temporarily stop taking these medicines before your procedure. The biopsy procedure takes about one hour to complete. Check your MyChart account for the time and location of your procedure. Your procedure may be canceled or delayed if you do not arrive on time. After you check in, a care team member will take you to the pre-procedure area. You will change into a hospital gown. A nurse will take your vital signs and start an IV line in your arm. Next, you will be taken to the procedure room. You will receive medicines by IV to help you relax and control pain. Using markers that have been drawn on your skin, an interventional radiology technologist will use a CT scanner to identify the exact location of the area to be biopsied. A local anesthetic is then injected to numb the area where the biopsy needle will be inserted. You will feel a sting as the medicine is injected. Guided by the CT scanner, the doctor will then insert the biopsy needle through the chest wall or the back. It is very important you do not move during this part of the procedure. To make sure the biopsy needle is in the right location, you will be moved in and out of the CT scanner several times during the procedure. The sample is collected, the needle is removed, and a sterile bandage is placed over the needle puncture site. After the procedure, you will be in recovery for three hours. Two chest x-rays are taken to check for a collapsed lung or pneumothorax. If you have a collapsed lung, you may feel a little pain and shortness of breath, or you may feel nothing at all. If the collapse does not fix itself, your doctor will insert a small chest tube which will allow air to escape from the space around the lung. As the air escapes, the lung will reinflate. The tube is usually removed the next day. During your recovery, a nurse will routinely check on you and monitor your pain level. After the procedure, follow your discharge instructions found in the handout, CT Guided Lung Biopsy. A copy is available in your MyChart account or ask a member of your care team. You will not be able to fly in an airplane for at least 24 hours after your procedure. Pressure changes in the cabin may increase the chances of a lung collapse. You may cough up a small amount of blood or blood-tinged sputum. This is normal and usually resolves in a couple of days. You may have soreness at the puncture site for up to 72 hours. The dressing may be removed after 24 hours. You may shower the next day unless you have a chest tube. You may eat your usual diet after the procedure unless your doctor gave you different instructions. The results of your biopsy will be available in three to five business days. Your doctor will discuss the results of your biopsy at your next appointment. Talk with your care team if you have any questions or concerns about your biopsy procedure.